The Minister of Human Services and Social Security, Dr. Vindya Prasad, met with residents of Anchorville, Port Morant earlier today to distribute hampers and address concerns. Julissa Hines reports. Earlier today, the Minister of Human Services and Social Security, Honorable Dr. Vindya Prasad, held a community outreach with residents of Anchorville, Port Morant. Started a community outreach program. The thrust of this is taking the ministry services to the communities, and the ministry has many units. One of those is the difficult circumstances unit that deals with persons who are, as the name suggests, experiencing difficulties in life. They could be single parents struggling, maybe they have no source of income, it could be somebody who probably had a death in their family, cannot do the burial, we help with funeral expenses, it might be someone who had serious loss to their business and maybe they need a stove, maybe they need some small thing to start a bag. So there are many areas of help. And also we have, as part of the government's mandate, the wider government, we would have been helping communities through hampers and so we did that today. And we've gone in all of the regions across the country and carried out the hamper drive, as I call it. Dr. Prasad went on to note, in addition to that, the officers of the ministry would accompany me to all of the communities and their people have an opportunity to have their issues addressed directly. If it's a case of child support, it might be child abuse, it might be child-centric, the child care officers are here. If it's a case where the social service probation officer needs to intervene, they're also here. So we deal with all the issues that fall under that department. So it's a holistic approach to all of the areas that the ministry deals with and people have this first-hand opportunity and in addition to all of that I am here to engage with them and if they have other areas outside of the ambit of this ministry I use the opportunity to register their complaints and I raise those with my cabinet colleagues because when we come into a community I do understand that sometimes it's not everything that has to do with the Ministry of Human Services and Social Security. She also highlighted the efficiency of the ministry's programs. It gives me an opportunity too to test the efficiency and effectiveness of the ministry's programs. I was very happy to hear that all the pensioners got their pension and the $25,000 voucher. So far in this area, those who are on the public assistance register, same thing. So it means that program has been going well. And just to mention that right now the ministry is continuing that program with the shut-in delivery and the direct delivery of the $25,000 voucher and the 2022 booklets, the pension booklets. So coming out to these communities also gives me a sense of policy direction and the type of programs that we need to craft so that we can better serve people at all levels in all communities. Ms. Trudy Sinclair, resident of Block 5 Port Morant, disclosed to media operatives how the outreach became a reality. For the past three years, I've been here. It's been a heartbreaking scene to see that my fellow citizens cannot really maintain or ob obtain a proper lifestyle because of either job, lack of jobs or opportunities, the fact that some are dis disabled. So I took the initiative to reach out to the minister and um, the first minister that came was Minister Susan Rodriguez and she gave me her word that she would have spoken to um, Minister Vindia Passad and she did. Miss Vindia would have reached out and her team to me and that's how today got to be here, right? Um, one of the things that I must say is that I had a quick response from the minister. As soon as the message went to her, she responded directly to me and I was very happy that she responded that way. Miss Sinclair further noted that she will continue to do her part. The residents are happy. I am happy. We have um, tried to help some of the residents with uh, disability um, benefits and also for children that they can have some sort of help to go to school and to provide food for them. My heart actually is to be a person in the community that can help in whatever areas. Like everything else, we don't give up the area. We are banded together. We are strong 
as one and we work together as one. So um, I'll continue to do my part with the residents and we'll see how far it can go from here. The residents received food hampers and signed up or applied to benefit from the programs the ministry has to offer. These residents extended gratitude to the minister and government for the hampers received. I feel good to call this hamper. God bless the people who share this hamper. Thank you so much. I feel so happy and thank, thank everyone. Thank you very much to come around and donate to this food to us because it's very important. A lot of us are struggling and so. So we all thank you very much for the cooperation. Thank you. This mother of two who is a single parent disclosed the difficulties she experiences and is also grateful for the hamper. This baby there um, five months and Randy. five years. It's very difficult to manage with the kids and so sometimes we just get to work by my friend and sometimes I don't. So it's very punishing. Yes, I'm very grateful and thankful for it. Prior to the hamper distribution, residents raised their issues and concerns with the minister and the main issues raised were that of better roads, street lights and internet connection for students. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.